Wow, uh, that, was, that was a surprise. Uh, thank you for those kind words. Um, I'd first like to say how honored I am to receive the Outstanding Jurist Award from the Dallas Women Lawyers Association. I would specifically like, like to thank Dina denoyer Stroh, my old friend. It comes as no surprise to anyone who's worked with Dina on any of the various bar projects that she's worked on that she's been an amazing president of the Dallas Women Lawyers. Let's give Dina a big round of applause. Dean and I have actually been working together on various bar projects for almost a decade from when she was president of the DOYL. We've worked together on the attorney serving the community luncheon. We've worked together on the Women's Advocacy Awards and now with the Dallas Women Lawyers. And every one of those, she's done an amazing job. So thank you, Dina, for all that you do for women lawyers. I've also been, had been blessed to work with many members of the other, of the other members of the boards uh, of the Board of the Dallas Women Lawyers on projects benefiting from the legal community during the past decade, including Sarah Rogers when she was president of the DAYL, Stephanie Goss Culpepper when she was president of the DAYL, Nicole Knox, uh, who said those kind words, I'm still a little bit uh, stunned and, and heartened by them, uh, when she was president of the Dallas Women Lawyers, uh, Aisha Raffi, uh, I've worked with many times when putting together Dallas Women Lawyer association panels, uh, and I'm about to officiate her wedding. I don't know where Aisha is. She's somewhere in here. Let's give her a big round of applause. And Jennifer King, we've worked together on the DBA bench bar and had a lot of fun there in the past. Angela Zambrano, when she fiercely led the Dallas Women Lawyers, and Mayling Ortiz, when she was DOL president. The Dallas Women Lawyer truly has tremendous leadership, and its future is bright. I would also express my deepest gratitude to the three most important women in my life. My wife, Heather, who we celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary earlier this year, who has been my partner since college, and we've truly built a wonderful life together. My mother, who's been a role model to me, that women can be strong, independent professionals. Thank you, Mom, for being here. My mother was down in Houston and had to evacuate during the hurricane, uh, and I'm glad you were able to make it up. Thank you for coming. And finally, my daughter, Emma, the fierce, proud feminist who's about to go to college. Emma constantly challenges me and her twin brother, Nick, about the, th the many challenges facing women to gay th today. So thank you so much, Emma, for always making me try to be a little more woke. Finally, I would like to thank the many women lawyers and judges who have shaped my career and brought me to this point. It would take me hours to detail all of the accomplishments in the and the ways they've changed me. Dean, I won't take hours, I promise. <laughs> but I'd like to just reference a few that are sitting at my table here today because they've each had a profound impact on my life. I have Tahira Merritt, who was one of my very first mentors at the Turley Law Firm, who did so much for me when I was a brand new lawyer. Karen Washington, who has been a friend of my wife and my family and help recruit me into the Mac Taylor Inn of Court, which has been such a special organization to me. Eileen Smoger and her partner, Carla McGee Smoger, who I worked with for over a decade. Eileen was so supportive of my run, at the time seemed incredibly risky run for judge, and although we were a small firm, she was there with me every step of the way. Eileen, thank you for everything that you've done for me. Lisa Blue, who we all know, she always gives me great advice about keeping an open mind about trying to be a better judge, and thank you for all of your wonderful advice over the years. Julie Pettit, who has shown that a woman under the age of 40 can throw the best judicial fundraisers <laughs> in the history of Dallas County. And if anyone went to my 50th birthday party, you'll know what I'm talking about. It was amazing. 
And finally, to Maria Osavoth, who's here representing over the 200 judicial interns I've had over the last 10 years. And I think there's a few others here. Is anyone, do I have any other interns? I know there's some others in the audience. Maria has been very special to me. She, I was blessed to officiate her wedding, swear her in as an attorney, and I even got to attend her first, birth, her, her daughter's first birth, not her first birthday party, <laughs> her daughter's first birthday party. I've appreciated the opportunity to be there for so many of her special days, and I'm glad that she is here for my special day. Thank you, DWLA and Dina and everyone else, and thank you for this award. Thank you.